Um, one of these days, I'm going to do training on the power of the Holy Spirit, how to do evangelism and change people's life by praying for them. Yeah. Now this morning we talk about the love of God which is very important teaching. And I hope you let this teaching change the way you think and change how we minister to people. Now it's not something, I haven't heard many people talk about that. So it's something you have to pay attention to learn it well. First, this teaching about the love of God can change the way how we talk to ourselves, how we are strengthened. As human beings, it's very easy for us to say, I did not do so well, people don't like me. And then we feel Discourage that we cannot do great things for God. Now many people think, please God, give us revival, give us revival. Many people think that God is not willing to give revival. Many people think we have to convince God to bring a revival. But the fact is, God really wants revival. It's just people are not ready. Because we are under guilt, we are living under guilt. Many ministers and many Christians don't think that it's, they think that it's very difficult to bring revival. They think that God is not willing to bring a revival. They tell about the love of God. Actually, God loves you all very much. He wants to strengthen each one of us. If we have the peace and the joy of the Lord every day, and we can love people, and care about people, and carry the strong presence of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God. We can change people's life. But first we need to change ourselves. Because many ministers go around like this. I want the people to change. But they just don't change. It's hard to change your life. It's hard to do the ministry. Then they have guilt and pressure. But instead we can think like this and we can minister to our people like this. God cares about each one of us very much. God cares about me. He wants me to be filled with the love of God and the joy of the Lord. Then people can see my joy and my love. And God wants to bless us with a strong presence. So he can bless more people. So every day we can say this, declare this. This prayer of grace. Now, can you declare with me? Say with me. God is loving me now. God cares. Yeah, say it. God is loving me now. God loves me now. God cares about me now. God cares about me now. 
God wants to use me greatly. Ah, Mungu anapenda kunitumikisha kwa kwa nguvu kabisa. God wants to use me powerfully. God wants to change my life. Mungu anapenda kubadilisha maisha yangu. God gives me one gives me more love and joy. Ah, Mungu anapenda kunipa upendo na furaha tena. And God wants me to give me the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, Mungu anapenda kunipa nguvu za roho takatifu. God wants me to give me the, the, the power. And I just trust in God. Na wakati ninamtumainia Mungu when I just trust in God, na wakati namtumainia tunamaliza, wakati ninamtumainia Mungu. Sema, ya, sema, wakati namtumainia Mungu. And love God, ninampenda Mungu. And follow God, ninamfuata Mungu. God is very happy. Mungu anafurahishwa. God will continue to use me, na Mungu ataendelea kunitumikisha to bless more people. Na kuwabariki watu wengine wengi kabisa. So every day when we wake up, na kila kila asubuhi tunapoamka, we can declare, tunaweza declare, God wants to use me greatly. Mungu anapenda nitumikishe kwa nguvu. God cares about me. Mungu anashughulisha nami. God, everything I do for God, kila kitu ninachokifanyia Mungu, God is very happy. Mungu anafurahishwa kabisa. Now if we believe that every day, kama tunaamini hiyo kila siku we have more strength. Tunakuwa na nguvu tena. But let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. Even for myself. Hata kwangu mimi binafsi. From time to time I have thoughts like this. Kwa 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 mara mara kwa mara ninakuwa na mawazo haya. I have thoughts that oh I'm not doing so well. Kuna mara nasema oh mimi sifanye vizuri. It's difficult. Ni vigumu. I have to work harder. Nina nina basha kutumika kwa From time to time I have these thoughts. Kwa 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 mara kwa mara inakuwa na mawazo kama haya. And I want to change this. Na mimi napenda nibadilishe mawazo haya. God really wants to do great things. Ah Mungu anapenda sifanye mambo makubwa. God really wants to use me greatly. Mungu anapenda kunitumikisha kwa nguvu. If I just enjoy him. Kama 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 napenda kuchoja. Niseme haleluya haleluya. Haleluya. And then we can bless the people like this. Now, can one of the persons I pray for this morning come out? I will demonstrate that. that now, one of the persons kuna, kuna we meet. Like the first woman. The first woman I pray for, she felt dizzy. She, she felt was feeling a strong Is she still here? I want a problem here, palpitation. Is she still here? Come on, I'm going to get you. The first woman. Wow, mama, who you? Yeah, she's there in the name. Uh, is she here? Yes, yeah, she's here. Come on. Come on, I was about to come on. I will demonstrate this. Nita, Nita, I'm here. Come Come quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's suffering from what? Uh, come up, come up. No, the dizziness came from the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Come. The dizziness came from the power of the Holy Spirit. When people feel the dizziness, it's a strong presence of God. Okay. Now this is how I encourage people with the Love of God. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. Okay. I'm going to first pray for her and then I'm going to encourage her with the love of God. Okay. 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 Asante Jesu, Amen. Asante Jesu, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Asante Jesu, Oh Jesu, we love. Yeah. 
Yesu. God is so good. Mungu ni mwema. God is so good. Mungu ni mwema. Now let me ask you, what are you experiencing right now? Ah, nini umesikia kwa sasa hivi? She she feels this. How about the heart? Moyo. The heart. In the heart and over the body. Did she feel comfort and and burdens go away? Yes, sir. You feel a little bit okay. Okay. You feel pressure, some pressure go away. Galicia scale of pain. Yes, she's she's still at the heartbeat. Heartbeat, beating fast. Okay. Now, let me ask, let me tell you this. It's it's God coming to bless you because God cares about you no. he wants to use you he wants to raise you up he has a wonderful plan in your life and you can experience it more and more and when you pray more to him you can look, look at him tell her to look at you so it's like listening to you talking to her face to face look at her and she, God really cares about you and if you start to love him more and spend more time praying to him his power will come upon you and heal you and give you strength and you can become a great person but if you sin or worry these blessings will not come to you fully so do you want to live in the love of God and to be blessed by God and every day you can be very happy and you can say God is loving me and I say God is loving me God is blessing me my life is important my life is important Oh, you speak English? Okay, now, then you listen to me. Watch me. Watch me. Look at me. You are very precious. You are not an ordinary person. Everyone in God is extraordinary. If you can experience God like that, it means God loves you. You know, when people feel dizzy, it's because of how God is strong upon you. So God has a heart in you. Do you believe that? Do you believe that life will be easy when He is helping you? And your life can go higher and higher. Let me ask you. Do you pray to God? Do you pray to God? Do you believe when you pray to God, God is very happy? Do you believe that? And do you love God? And do you know that God is very happy when you love God? And do you serve God? How do you serve God? How do you serve God? How do you serve God? So she, she serves God. Yeah. Okay. She's she says God by singing, by bringing people to, to Him. Okay. So you told people about Jesus. Right? Christ. Now everyone, when you tell someone about Jesus, Jesus is very happy in heaven. Do you believe that? Even when they reject you. 
God is very happy with you. Oh, and his eyes are on you. So when you continue that, God is going to bless you more and more. Now, you can have a strong anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, and you lay hands on people and pray. And you lay hands on people to pray for you. Lay hands on people to pray for you. Did they experience something? Did they experience something? Yes. Now what did they experience? Why did they experience Oh, she has yes, she says miracles, uh, healing. Okay, so God is using you. That's why you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Upon you. That's why when I pray for you, I can sense power of the Holy Spirit upon you. So at this time, you believe God is loving you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you feel, feel peace and quiet? Do you feel peace and quietness? I'm, I'm saying to you, God is using you. Thank you, sir. Amen, amen, amen. I want to say to you is yes. very often when people serve God, they will say, I have not done enough. They are not good results. And so we feel tired and burned out. But if every day we say, God is blessing me, God is loving me. Even when I do evangelism, God is very happy. Even when people don't believe what I tell them, God is very happy in heaven. And He wants to bless us. And if we are able to raise some people and tell them your life is precious, God loves you and cares about you. Whatever you do for God, God is very happy with you. Then people are more motivated. Now what about the motivation? When people tell us what they've done, we tell them this is great. And God is happy with you. And God will reward you. And the more you dedicate to God, the more God will bless you. Are you willing to love God more? And serve God more? And enjoy God more? That way we are encouraged. We know that God is happy with us. And then when we help people, now the parents will say, "Tia, what is it? Follow God." Now what we are doing for the Mungu? God is also happy with them. Ah, Mungu, and our friends, what they want. God will bless them. Now Mungu, and our friends. And every week, na kila muda, there are people who come to share. Na kila wiki, what we are doing, what we are partaging. How they experience the love of God. How they are changed by God. And how they serve God. And we all thank God for what they've done. And the atmosphere will be in the church. That people enjoy God. Yeah. And they enjoy serving God. God is so good. You have this, you have this song in this your language. Yes, you sing it in your language. Tu wana in wa in ni ni mo kwa sing in your language. God, sing, sing it, sing it. God, yes, sing, sing it. Mo mo yume, sing. Who are me? 
nini hiyo kabisa God loves you very much. Mungu anakupenda sana sana. Write it and take it here. God loves you very much. Mungu anakupenda sana. Mungu ananipenda since they can say God loves me so much. Yeah. God wants to use you much. Mungu anapenda kutumikishe sana. Any time you love God, kila wakati unapenda Mungu, God is very happy. Mungu anakuwa na furaha. Sana. And God will remember it. Na Mungu atakumbuka hiyo and God will reward you. Na Mungu atakupatia matabishi. Whenever you tell someone about Jesus, kwa mara yote unaweza kuambia watu kuhusu Yesu Kristo, God is very happy. Oh, Mungu iko na furaha sana. He will bless you. Atakubariki. He will reward you and you patia matabishi on earth he will reward you on earth and in heaven ata kurekompense kwa dunia na mbinguni Amen Amen So I'm giving people the potential the potential yeah 
potentialité. How much they can do for God. And God is very happy with every little thing you've done for him. So instead of accusing people, or accusing ourselves, we can tell them the potential in Jesus. Can you tell the difference? When we tell people, what are we going to do for God? Even when you give a cup of cold water to a little one, God likes it and rewards you. Whenever you tell people about Jesus, God is very happy and he rewards you. So, this way people get encouraged. Now, let me use an illustration of husband and wife. Very often, husband and wife talk like this. You did not wash the dishes. You, you are not nice to me. You don't listen to me. So it's always saying what you did not do. Let me ask you, does your husband or wife talk to you like that sometimes? Does it make you happy? In no. no. Let me tell you how I talk with my wife and how my wife talks with me. I have made up my mind to talk with her with love all the time. Now this is my second cell phone. You can always see me and my wife in the picture. And, and this cell phone too, which I'm recording. Now it's hard for you to see but my picture of my wife and me. I don't want to say talk to my wife like this. You did not do this, you did not come I always say, I thank you so much for your love for me. I thank you for everything you've done for me. I enjoy you. I like you. And you are a treasure to me. We always encourage each other. Even when I'm here, every day we try to communicate. So what she hears from me is always saying, I love you, I care about you. I thank you for everything you've done for me. You're my treasure. And she get encouraged, and I get encouraged. But many husband and wife talk to them, like spouse like this. You don't cook well. You don't wash my clothes well. You don't listen to me. You don't like me. Does it make the relationship better? No. Does accusation make relationship better? No. But many Christians talk to themselves like this. I don't, I don't love God enough. I don't pray enough. Now, if that is true, if that is true, uh, if that is true, uh, if we, we don't pray much, then we will say, Lord, forgive me. And you are very happy with me when I repent. And whenever I try to love you, you are very happy. 
Whenever I serve you, you are very happy. happy. That is positive thinking in God. When Peter was about to de de uh, betray Jesus, to deny Jesus three times, Jesus did not say to him, You have no use. Why? Why are you going to deny me three times? But Jesus said this to him. I have prayed for you so that you won't lose your faith. And when you reach, when you when you return, strengthen your brothers. Jesus just tell him, I have, I know you're doing, going to deny me, but I have prayed for you so that you will not lose your faith. So I give you hope. So Jesus always gives us hope. Because he loves us. He's a God of love. He's not a God of accusation. Where does accusation come from? It came from Satan. It went, it came into all the families. Even Christian families. Have you noticed there are a lot of accusation in the family, in your family? Can we say, yes, we want to change? Please forgive me. I want to have words of encouragement. I want to love people more. I want to tell them their potential. I want to tell them their hope. So now this is not hard. This is not easy to change. Now after lunch we'll practice this. Now just pull up and if you change this it can change your you know your inner self so that you have more joy and peace now, to summarize I will tell you three kinds of prayer that will strengthen us you please write this down three kinds of prayers that will strengthen us the first kind of prayer is the prayer of grace. It's like this. God is loving me. So you can write this down. God is loving me. God wants to bless me. God has a wonderful plan in my life. God, God gives me help all the time. So the prayer is Prayer of grace is always from God to us. What God is doing to us. Okay, the second kind of prayer. Yeah, they are writing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the second one. The second one is the prayer of worship. I worship you, Lord. For example, I love you, Lord. Just write it. It's from us to God. Hey, you know, my to see you. I need God. I need help. I need help. Okay. 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 I need help. I need help. Okay. I need help. Okay. I need help. Okay. I need help. Okay. They are right. Okay, but but you understand. First kind is what God does to me. God loves me. 
God cares about them. Yeah. Pray of grace. Ile maombi ya kwanza unasikia ni yale ambayo unasema yale Mungu anafanya kwetu. Anafanya kwetu ile ya kwanza. And a prayer of worship is from us to God. Na sasa ya pili ni maombi yetu sisi kwa Mungu. I love God. Ninapenda Mungu. I worship God. Na Mungu. And the third kind of prayer, yeah, na maombi sasa ya tatu is interactive prayer. Ni maombi ya interactive. Don't get prayer interactive. So when we pray, yeah, mtu kwa mtu, yeah. We believe at the same time God is very happy. Kwa 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 hiyo kwa hiyo kwa mara moja sisi tunaamini kwa Mungu anafurahi. And God is responding to my prayer. Na unaamini kwa Mungu anajibu maombi yangu. He's very happy with my prayer. Anafurahia maombi yangu. So when I pray, I will say wakati naomba ninasema in my heart God is blessing me now. Katika moyo wangu nasema oh Mungu ananipenda na 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 upendo wake. God is happy with me now. Mungu anafurahia anafurahia mimi sasa hivi. God wants to bless me now. Mungu anapenda kunibariki sasa hivi. God will reward me. Ah Mungu anarekompensa mpatia matabishi. Now I hope you understand this. Nina nina wazo mesikia. So whenever we pray, kwa mara yote tunapoomba, God is very happy. Mungu anafurahi and he will respond with na, favor. Ya na 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 najibu kwa favor yetu. And also there is interactive action. Kuna kwa kuna kwa sasa ile ma action interactive. This is not prayer, this is action. Hii ni ma ni, ni matendo. Whenever I tell people about Jesus, I will say God is very happy I'm telling people about Jesus. Whenever I help people, I say God is very happy with me now helping people. When I'm serving God, wakati ninamtumikia Mungu, I tell myself God is very happy that I'm serving him. Oh, mimi na mimi ninajiambia Mungu anafurahi nami kwa sababu ninamtumikia. So every pastor here, na kila pastor mali hapa, when you come to serve God in church, ambaye anamtumikia Mungu kanisani, you can say, anaweza kusema, God is happy that I'm serving him today. Ah, sasa Mungu anafurahi nami kwa sababu ninamtumikia leo. God remembers everything I do for him. Ya Mungu anafurahi na anakumbuka yale yote ambayo ninamfanyia. I can serve with joy. Ha, 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 ha. Can you serve God with joy like that? Ha, Because Almighty God is happy with us. Whenever we pray to Him, Almighty God is happy with us. If every Christian is happy like that, kama kila mkristo angekuwa na furaha kama hiyo, the church is full of joy and oh, peace. Oh, kanisa inaja furaha na amani. Now you might say, na unaweza kusema, if you have so much love, kama unakuwa na furaha nyingi, people will disobey God. Watu watu wata wata disobey kwa Mungu. Hawataki Mungu. Many people think, au watu wengi wanafikiri, they have to be people up so that they will obey God. Wanadhani kuwapiga watu ndio watu watatii Mungu. Then you yell at people, so people will change. Una 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 tumbokea watu njoo watu watu wata amini mu wata si mu. Do you have to yell at your wife to change your wife? Una waza ku 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 tumbokea ma ku ku amukwa kuto uta mbadilish. Do you yell at your wife like this? Una una waza ku ku ambia ku fa mukwa ku kama hi. I love you. Una ambia na kupenda. Go wash the dishes. Wendo ku tumbule masani. Don't wash my clothes. When they will fully mango yam, do we have to do it? As you want to do it, no. No. We want to say in a general way. Oh, when I say, 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 when so we can do it, say it to them with smiling. And we can enjoy God together. Oh, hallelujah. 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 God is loving us. Munga, Mungu, Mungu, Anna, Tu. 
Anadu Pena Pena Sisya God is loving us God is loving us Can you learn this English? God is loving us 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 Hallelujah God is loving us Thank you Lord Hallelujah Now do you have any question about this teaching? Do you think this is biblical? Do you think it's biblical? Is, is it biblical? Then we are motivated by the love of God. Yes. Then we don't push people by accusations. We encourage people that God so loves you. He wants to bless you. Okay. Yeah. So after lunch, we'll go into more how to do it. And every day, if you want a certificate, we'll ask you to write, answer some questions. How to help people by the love of God? So if you have a question now, you can ask me. If you have any question about this teaching, do you understand it? It's, it takes time to understand it and absorb it. Because we have grown up under the law. Now, I obey the law. I serve God with all my heart. Not because of pressure. Not because I say I have to serve God if not God will punish me. Not because of pressure. But I serve God because I know God loves me. And He remembers everything I do for Him. Hallelujah. Do you have any question? Any question you want to ask? Let me tell you, it's not easy to change. Can you go home and change the way you talk with your wife? I want to go to the house and I want to go to the house. Change in your way you talk with your wife. Hey, what she told me, me badly. Can you come and share how you talk with your wife? Me, me badly. Give you not you. Onge na mke wako, Pastor Washington. She's an asset to you. So he has heard my teachings and he will tell tell them. He will tell them. So he will. Okay. Now I have a question. Yes. Do you have I just want to share a little bit how I changed my relationship with my wife. Before I came to understand these teachings, my relationship with my wife was not very good. Even the way I used to communicate in my house was Ata, not very friendly. Because in African culture, we understand that when you are a husband, you are the head of the house. And we believe that as a husband, you have to be ordering things to be happening in your house. Na kama kichwa, unawaza kama utakona pana maogri. That you just have to command and it be done. So una una command it, kisha na kitu kina fani kapali. Even if you want your wife to give you maybe something, you have to tell her. Why don't you give me that? Ata kama ata kama unyo ulisa mkuwa kodi pateke tuflo na mbia. Juu ya ni na kodi pa hiyo kitu. 
even if you want her maybe to change your bed sheets or any or maybe to wash your clothing you just order hata kama ungependa washanishe madrasa zako ama ufule mambo zako unapenda tu uorder ni ukomande whenever you come to the house and maybe you get a mess in the house hata hata kama unafika kwa kwa nyumba unashangaa kisi kwa nyumba huko you just shout and order and yell au unaanza tumboka unaanza kusema na kwa sauti ya nguvu sana but now after entering into this teaching ah ndio kisha sasa kusikimbia katika mafundisho haya i realized that i was using the law nika nika kumbua ndatambua kwa nilikuwa nikitumikisha sheria but now when we speak in our house when you come to our house lakini sasa wakati tunaongea katika jamaa tunaongea katika jamaa we speak in a friendly way na tunaongea kama marafiki I request her I don't order her as mimi ninamsupplier as mkodoni ama simkomande and every time I tell her thank you ah na kila saa ninamwambia asante every time I tell her I love you kila saa ninamwambia nakupenda everything she does unto me I tell I appreciate na kila kitu amachofanya kwangu nasema mimi nakia appreciate even if it's a very small thing I say thank you for doing that for me na hata kama ni kitu kidogo unamwambia ah asante kwa kufanya hii kwangu thank you for being there for me hata asante kwa kuleta hii I love you so much. Ninakupenda sana. God bless you so much. Nakubariki sana. And actually from that point our relationship has gone strong. Ah, kwa hakika kupitia hiyo ushirika wetu ulikuwa wenye nguvu na wenye nguvu zaidi. I don't say that there is no challenges in our marriage. Sisi kama kuna hakuna changamoto katika uhusiano wetu. Challenges are there. Yeah, good ma challenge ama ya ma Uh, machanga moto katika uhusiano wetu but when we approach lakini wakati tunaongea on the challenges in a lovely way na kama tunatuna tuna, tuna, tunapiganisha hiyo machanga moto katika hali ya upendo you overcome these challenges uh, tunashinda changa moto hizo without difficulty bila shida hizo zote because kwa sababu you live kwa, in the love kwa sababu unaishi una, tunaishi katika upendo when you live in the love with your wife everything around you will change na wakati unaishi katika upendo na mke wako kila kitu pembeni yako inabadilika even your children will love you hata hata watoto wenu watawapenda even your neighbors will long to live the kind of life you are living oh hata hata wajirani watatamani kuishi gisi mnazoishi nyumbani hallelujah hallelujah so every time we don't yell we don't shout we don't order ah kila wakati atutomboke atuseme atuseme na sauti atukomande even if she does something that is is not pleasing and ada akifanya kitu ambacho akifurahisha you don't yell ah sitomboke you tell her in a good way ah unamwambia kwa njia nzuri then she will understand na pale atasikia so if you put this teachings in practice ah kama ungitia mafundisho haya kwa practice you will see a big different in your life. Ah utaona tofauti kubwa katika maisha yako. Amen. Amen. We have a lot to share. Ah tuko na mengi ya programs. 